said they make cars with solid tires. Sure thing. It's time. Are you ready to tear the simulation down? Sure thing. Let's do this. What was that? Uh, the reception's gone shitty. Look, just spread the word. We're meeting at Kinsey's. Really can't afford another suit. I want a pair of those new. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. I still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zin are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. No powers. Doesn't matter, they're dead. Kinsey, any ideas on how they found us? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just kill them. This way! Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Stay safe. Before we do anything, we need some breathing room. Let's take out those tanks. Check it out, a UFO! How'd that work out for you?
Help us this way! Pierce and I will hold him here. Just get everyone else to safety, player. We got this! Whoa, why are we running? I'm down for some murder. We can murder later. Right now we need to get the plan back on track. Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. into that car. Let's cover them. Sounds good. Enemy ship flying in. Spaceship! What's the best way out of here, Kinsey? Okay, um, hold on. I'm scanning. Scan fast. Spaceship, overhead! Yo, these Zen have some high-tech shit. What's their arsenal like? Oh, the Zen have all kinds of cool stuff. I wish I could get into their armory and see what they're prototyping. They even have murder bots. Murder bots? Uh, that's my kind of household of lines. Damn, you up all in the sky! Well, it's that over with. Place for Pierce and Ben to go. We're not going to my place. Good big fact. Yourselves. Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? God, I wish it was. Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. We gotta get out of here, Kinsey. On it. Ooh, is that a killing floor? Merry Christmas to me. Uh, 
Oh. Christ, what now? Boss, the game is on. It started by itself. I can't shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Big money, big prizes. I love it. War is active and the doors are locked. Nobody gets out. Including us. Until that is, the contestants rack up enough points to fill the murdometer. Shit, I'm down. Let's do this. Bugger at it, cop. Look at all the contestants today! And all new targets as well. The Zen Empire have taken it upon themselves to face the challengers. Truly, a bold move on their part. You're not kidding. The Zen are the fiercest opponents in the universe, Bobby. They should be a tough fight for the Saints. Yes, indeed. Zen are falling before the might of these contestants. They sure are. Look at how they're mowing down the opposition. Goes to show you how much having a team behind you could really come in handy. <laughs> I wish we had a team behind us. What we have is the love and support of Zinyak. What else could we possibly need? <laughs> Nothing at all, Bobby. Nothing at all. Let's pump it now. a little bit longer. Look, Professor Genki has entered the arena. It's always a special occasion when the professor takes the stage. Let's what? The master at work. That's Genki, huh? Yeah, he looks crazy. Now's our chance. Kill him! Boss, he's kind of helping us. The man cat must fall. Good shot by the contestant. Genki's sure gonna feel that one. It takes a particularly skilled player to take on Professor Genki. Especially after facing the considerable might of the Zen Empire. Of which we are required to extol the virtues. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Genki is down. Down, but never out, Zack. So true, Bobby. So true. Is that all? Looks like it. Oh my gosh. Is everything okay? Let's get to the prize room. That was fun. They got more games like this in Steelport? That's right, I'm a fucking sight. Yep, you still got it. So where to? You know, I generally don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Yeah, I get it. Life beyond the computer is mysterious and beautiful. Now, can you step out of it and tell me what we're supposed to do? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zen Noir ever knew. Can you come up with a workaround? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Sounds good. Let's go home. Hey, 
player. Pierce and I are pulling out of the simulation. I'll meet you back on the ship. Is this that normal or is someone messing with our connection? I don't know. Cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the vice president are gone. They kidnapped Keith David and left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? Secure the room. I'm checking on Kinsey. We'll save you, Kinsey. I promise. You ready? Because we got visitors. the lower decks we have to hold the room fuck that i'm not waiting for them to come to me What the hell? We're moving. Why are we moving? Let's get to the bridge. Shit, are we driving into the sun? We need to figure out what the hell is going on. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. Any bright ideas on how to keep us from dying? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck. Let's go! Okay. Everyone's fine. The Zin grabbed me and... Hey, Sid said something about heat signatures? One of them put a device on the wall. I'm not sure what it is. We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. And they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Keep an eye on Kinsey, Shondi. Johnny and I are about to do something really stupid. You got a specific thing you want to blow up, or just shit in general? Kinsey, what's the weakest point in the Zin ship? Yo, boss, Kinsey's... Fuck! I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zin sure do make a good argument for murdering him. See... 
find him, he's gonna wish he fell on his own sword. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. Get a chance. I'm gonna rip Zinyak's goddamn head off. Got that sorted now. Well, where do you think the Zin have Kinsey? But when I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of them. Yo, we got some alien gun over here. Hell of a welcome back, huh, Johnny? Fuck, you were thinking I wanted to go to Hawaii or something? I live for this shit. Glowy. Looks perfect. How'd that work out for you? Here you go. I need to find something that looks important. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump! She talks shit in Pakistan, she sucker punched me. Can't believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. <laughs> I 
I don't want to talk about what happened in my simulation, so don't ask. I am surprised your planet did not have a stronger defense system against intergalactic attacks. Perhaps that is why you were so easily conquered. Asha has me programming so many test simulations, I hardly have any me time! The technology on this ship is fascinating. There's so much to take apart. No idea what I'd do for a nice tailored suit right now. What the hell is this outfit even made of? It sure ain't Italian silk. Ambassador Pierce Washington. Whoo! Has a nice ring to it. I mean, after we're done with Zinyak, we're gonna have to go exploring new places in the galaxy, right? Oh, I look forward to a vacation after all this is over. Find a beach planet, maybe. Seems like I missed a lot of crazy shit in Steelport. From a rundown church to a spaceship. Damn, we ain't sure know how to pick a crib. Wow, seems like I missed a lot of crazy shit in Steelport. Just so you know, the bathroom doesn't quite work like we're used to on Earth. Well, I could sit here and talk with you, or keep anything on this ship from exploding and killing us all. Your choice. Been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. <laughs> 